Good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. We are doing an experiment. We, I am doing an experiment. It's called Beaver Tales. I'm pretending that I'm writing a beaver book. I don't know. Now I know how National Geographic um, animal cameramen and authors feel sitting in their tall, tall redwoods. Or tall, tall Amazon jungle trees waiting for their very hard to find bat or hard to find monkey or waiting on that tiny little sloth to move out of its mommy's pouch or um, in your kitchen in Lake Murray waiting for the stupid beaver to swim by. Now, I think I can honestly say I know how an animal photographer feels for National Geographic. Or actually, no, I'm in the Yukon. Um, no, I'm in the Arctic Circle in a tiny, tiny hut with a tiny, tiny heater waiting on a specific polar bear or seal or um, beluga whale to come by. But actually, I'm just a lady waiting on a beaver in her neighborhood. <laughs> and... He hasn't come by. He knows I have this stupid camera. Okay, let's see if I don't wear my battery out before he swims by. Well, it's about 15 minutes later from last time. <sighs> no beaver. He knows I'm up here. It's 7.27. He usually comes by between 7.15 and quarter to 8. But as it gets lighter earlier, it happens earlier and earlier. But I haven't seen him yet. And we're just sitting here waiting, staring out the window like a crazy person. I mean, a National Geographic animal explorer, photographer, writer. I wonder if they'll pick this up and I'll be in the next issue. Hmm, kind of doubt it. Oh, maybe I should do a what's in my National Explorer bag. Hmm. iPhone, coffee, jacket, hair tie. Oh, I almost ordered the blue um, traveler's notebook. But I'm like, really? I'm afraid to use the brown one as it is. Why would I order the blue one too? Oh. So I emptied my cart. I was going to get it from Bomb Kuchin in L.A. But, alas, I stopped. Oh, I think today I'm getting that girl's coloring book off of Amazon Prime. So far, 2018 has not been the year of not buying. Too much enabling on Instagram. Instagram is awful for that. And yes, Curtie, I saw your message about James. <laughs> I'm thinking I might not replicate, do some fan art from him. I don't know. Maybe I'll just use his... Oh, there's a little cardinal. Is he the one that makes all that bright noise? Um, so we're watching. We're all watching for the beaver, and he's not coming. There's ripples on the water, which means a little bit of wind out in the big water. We're in a cove, and we're actually in the crook of a cove, of a larger cove. We're two coves in, put it that way. I'm gonna pull you out so you can see the cardinal. Can you see the cardinal? Where is he? Oh, I lost him. Oh no, he went up. He's right there. Can you see him? He's right there. But that's what I hear in the morning is a cardinal now. I did not know that. Okay, National Geographic stealth mode is actually helping. Anyhow, the wind brings the ripples. And I don't think he likes swimming in ripples, even though he creates his own ripples. I don't know how he can tell the difference between the wind's ripples and his ripples. Hmm. 
our tree right here on the right is getting ready to bust out all these blossoms here. That's the pink one that Bella brought me the other day. Oh, I don't think I posted that video. It was awful. I haven't had the urge, but maybe we'll just do the uh, beaver cam for a couple days. We'll just do beaver cam. How about that? Day one, beaver cam. Beaver one, me zero. I have not seen him. He either swam by earlier, or as soon as I turn the camera off, he's gonna go away, or he's gonna swim by. Uh, time to go back to the lodge um, and get some breakfast, warm back up, and then um, collect my afternoon supplies for uh, the writing process of the article for National Geographic and then set back up for nighttime watch. Uh, my barrier that I'm hiding behind, my blind that I'm hiding behind, uh, is camouflaged with a tiny little window for my iPhone to stick out on a tripod. So. Maybe we will see if we can move our blind a little closer um, for day two. Who knows? We shall see. Huh. It's going to be a nice day for writing the article, though, I think. Okay, I'm going to do an illustration of the beaver in my neighborhood. Um, yes, Curti James Burke is completely inspiring and um I sort of kind of make it my own from him um not sure but um I'm using my little beaver for reference and gonna make a slash of color across the middle that is the leaves that the beaver has been chewing on and these are some scraps of paper that uh, Bella, my granddaughter, and I made over the weekend, and I filmed it, but she kind of got into her seven-year-old personality, uh, and so I did not put it up because she really was full of herself, and I'm the star of this show, not her. So there's my beaver. I'm taking out some of the papers that we made with mermaid markers and acrylic paint. Uh, that's all mermaid markers. We were just dropping ink into ink. Uh, which was fun, fun, fun. And let's see if I just can't turn some of that stuff into a beaver. First, I'm going to paint the center of my page um, and adding a little bit of acrylic paint, some blues and greens that you would find around a beaver's neighborhood. Um, maybe a little abstract beavers, who knows. And I'm trying to use up some of these last bits of paint and some of these bottles. So here comes my color swatches like James Burke did on his video, which I absolutely love. And I love his enthusiasm for inspiration from Disney. Um, I really have been enabled by Disney. Um, not that you would know it, but I do like some of their illustrators and all of the things that they do. And anyhow, so I'm making my swatches of color. Uh, these are acrylic craft. Then I just, for some reason, needed a border. These are acrylic craft paints. Um, nothing special. Uh, and that needs to dry. So in the meantime, I'm going to cut out a bunch of little beavers out of all of these other swatches that Bella and I made out of mermaid markers um, from Jane Davenport. And I don't know if that is concentrated watercolor or ink in those mermaid markers, but they're very, very vibrant and very, very fluid, I guess. Now the one on the right is out of sticker paper that I've made from my own stuff, but the other ones were mermaid markers. Um, and I'm just making some swatches of beavers. I don't know where this series is going to go. I'm kind of letting it take its own shape, which now it seems to be me writing an article for National Geographic with my own photography slash art. Um, and in incorporating beaver cam. We're going to go until we see a beaver. Because uh, I talk about this beaver all the time. He's in my neighborhood. He spends his mornings right in my own yard. 
and I'm just trying to make my paint dry so I'm kind of squishing it around a little bit which adds more texture which I don't have a problem with anyhow um and this beaver does live in my neighborhood and right now he is running rampant I don't know if it's spring or what so I have seen him quite a bit lately but as soon as I turn on my camera he disappears uh -huh. so I'm gonna go vertical with this guy because that's gonna be how my beavers are gonna look I don't know so I the beaver is going to run the show here. And I think I'm going to just pretend like I'm doing a storyboard for Disney and a beaver movie. Okay? Slash National Geographic. Slash beaver cam. All mixed together. Um, and that's just where I'm at right now. Uh, I thought about doing my page 18 for 2018, but that might be next. And this is just the Stabilo All Pencil and around acrylics, around paper that I've already used mermaid markers on over the weekend and created some little cutouts of beavers. And uh, I get kind of adventurous with the Stabilo woody pencils and make some trees, as one does, because that's what the beaver eats. Did you know a beaver's teeth grow continuously? That's why he has to cut all the time with those teeth. But go cut on somebody else's trees, not ours, please. So, either he's abstract or whatever. This can go vertical or horizontal. I love this. So, that was day one with beaver tails and beaver cam. See you all tomorrow.